I work at a medical school and when um, George Floyd was murdered, we had a big town hall session and one of the physicians I work with was talking about how um, he remembered when he was in medical school in the 80s, how in the neighborhood he lived, um, you know, there happened to be quite a bit of police brutality against black youth in the neighborhood. And he would just see it and feel helpless um, about it. And a lot of people feel that way. A lot of people see it. Okay, and or a lot of people know it um, and just feel helpless, and 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 that's a real feeling. So I think that this moment, you know, has been incredibly important for for a lot of people because you know there's this continuum. Um, you know, for some people it's an awakening, but for a lot of people it's been an existence. You know, they've been living in it. Um, for a long time and um, and for the people who are experiencing the awakening it really is an opportunity to reflect to reflect about yourself to reflect about the institutions um, in which we have all played a part in building and perpetuating um, over um, a lot of years and to really think thoughtfully about how to modify what I've been seeing a lot of time is a lot of um, symbolic action and performative um, allyship and performative support but you know the time now is really to move from symbolic works and performative works to actually doing the work and the work is different from each of us it really is different for each of us and I think it's rooted in your skills and your talents and your passion and my hope is that wherever one's passions and talents lie that they pursue justice and they pursue equity um, in their work. And if you don't know what that is, then to work to figure out what that is um, and, and really pursue it um, in a way like our lives depend on it. I think now is the time to, to really make a lot of effort to move past that, that helplessness and to move past the I don't know what to do feeling to really figuring out what to do um, and being collaborative about it and being honest about it and not being um, a hindrance because you know you can really hurt the movement you can really hurt um, progress by um, by not being fully involved or fully engaged so all that is to say is that I really hope that people take this opportunity to reflect and to act um, in really thoughtful and meaningful ways.